Hey guys, I'm Ismail Sheikh. Today we are going to learn about the page life expectancy in SQL. So, in this video, we are going to learn what is PLE or page life expectancy. We are going to check out how we can measure PLE. After that, we are going to check how we can monitor a uh, page life expectancy. And uh, after that, we are going to check out few reason or causes of uh, poor PLE. And at last, we will check. Uh, the techniques to improve the page life expectancy so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel let's learn so what is PLE or page life expectancy it's an age of database in seconds in the buffer cache after querying the tables now you can see the diagram here you can see a buffer cache box it contains number of pages and the application and there is a physical disk now once the data enters the buffer cache and the time it spends in that buffer cache is nothing but page life expectancy that's the simplest definition of page life expectancy that i can give you right now page life expectancy value indicates the memory pressure in allocated memory to the sql server instance that means whenever uh, the page life expectancy value changes the memory pressure is also affected Whenever there is low PLE, the memory pressure on your server will be high and if the uh, PLE is high, the memory pressure will be low. Now let's check how we can measure uh, page life expectancy. So page life expectancy is traditionally uh, measured within seconds and uh, most of the times it should not be less than 300. That's the traditional value. Which, which has been set by Microsoft. So, uh, PLE can raise performance issues by building pressure on buffer when your PLE goes down and the, if it's not coming up for a while. So, let's check how we can measure that. So, PLE uh, value or threshold is measured based on the buffer memory allocation in GB and it's divided by 4 and you have to multiply it by 300 as 300 is the threshold value. Now let's say if you have a server configured 128 GB and 100 GB is allocated for SQL, then your PLE value will be 7500. So that's how you can measure the PLE value. Now let's check what are the causes of poor PLE. The first one is index maintenance. So if we are not constructing or reconfiguring the index properly, if you are not reorganizing the indexes properly, then it might lead to memory pressure issues or poor PLE. The second one is big queries or report queries. So let's say if there are multiple queries which are running in the background and if it's not uh, configured or if it's not, uh, have, it's not having a proper execution plan, then it might lead to an issue. So the third one is uh, less efficient execution plan. If you're not planning uh, your queries properly, it might lead to a poor PLE performance. The uh, next one is the data migration activity. Let's say if uh, there's any activity which is in progress, uh, data migration activity or pre or post uh, upgrade activity, which is in progress, that might also uh, create a PLE issue. If you uh, if your jobs are not scheduled properly, if the execution plan is not designed properly during th these data migration activity, that might lead to a poor PLE performance. The next one is a parameter sniffing issue. So if your parameter sniffing uh, is turned off, it might lead to a poor execution plan because it uh, tries to select the optimal execution plan uh, while uh, before running any query so next one is the duplicate indexes let's say if there are any duplicate indexes or unused indexes that might also create issues uh, while uh, executing any query or it might lead to a memory pressure the last one is multiple execution plans so let's say if one stored procedure contains multiple execution plans it will increase number of operations and eventually it will lead to poor PLE 
Now let's check how we can find PLE on SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the DME says dot DM underscore OS underscore performance counter. So this DMB will give you the counter value, which is in the second picture that you can see 90796 is the PLE. So that's how you can find the PLE on SQL Server Management Studio. Now let's check how we can monitor the PLE. So there's a monitoring tool that's performance monitoring tool provided by Microsoft, which can give you the PLE value. So you just have to add the counter and object so that you can measure the PLE trends and you can find the root cause of the issue. The object for uh, page life expectancy will be MS SQL, SQL Express and the object name will be buffer manager and the counter that you want to add will be page life expectancy. Now let's see how we can improve the performance of SQL Server by improving the PLE. So the first technique is to reduce the memory pressure on SQL Server. If the memory pressure is reduced, the PLE value will increase and automatically the performance will be improved. The second one is checking the execution plan of scheduled jobs. So whenever you are having scheduled jobs, you can just double check the execution plan if it's properly uh, designed or not so if it's expensive you can just check uh, what uh, code changes can be done or if the status can be updated the second technique is uh, to check the fragmentation if your indexes are properly uh, fragmented then the performance will be increased if it's not the uh, memory pressure will be increased uh, again you have to reorganize your indexes and uh, you have to delete the unused indexes so if there are any uh, unused indexes or useless indexes you can just remove them so that the performance gets improved the next technique is to check the memory allocation properties of sql server so you can check the memory allocation and you can just compare it with your ram and uh, decide if uh, what's the optimal or what's the best memory uh, allocation for your SQL Server that will surely improve the performance and uh, reduce the uh, increase the PLE and the last one is to check uh, the long running transactions so let's say if there are any uh, transactions which are in sleeping state or if there is any blocking activity which is uh, consistent on your server that is also a sign of poor PLE so these are the factors that you have to consider before you design your queries or if you want to improve your PLE or overall performance of SQL Server. Now let's get to the practical part where we can check what is the PLE current value. So I'm going to run this query. So let's start from sys.dmos performance counter. This is the DMB. You can just remember that. And the counter name will be peace life expectancy. So now I'm going to execute this and check. So you can see the counter value. This will be our PLE value currently. It's about 95,000. So it's a very good sign that your SQL server is not under memory pressure. Now let's see how we can monitor the base life expectancy trends on performance monitor of your Windows server. So once you go to performance monitor, this is a free uh, tool which has been provided by Microsoft. You just have to click on plus sign which is on the uh, top corner. Yeah, that's the green one. You can just click on that and once you click on that, you will see multiple counters and you have to find ms sql buffer manager counter and once you click on the drop down you will see multiple objects so these are performance objects and you just have to select base life expectancy from there and click on add and once you click on add you can just click on ok and you will see the trends for peace life expectancy so that's how you can monitor the trends and you can find the PLE current PLE and you can check the uh, past records of peace life expectancy 
So that's it from my end. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel. Let's learn. If you have any queries, you can just put your queries in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.